happy morning stat 100 students today we will have a discussion about descriptive and inferential statistics these two are the two major areas of statistics first let's have descriptive descriptive statistics used to describe data about the sample and the measure it only means that you have a sample or any collection and then you will have a data that data describes directly the sample or that collection to further explain it let's have example number one example number one the mean salary of a sample of 30 teachers in 2020 was 30,000 pesos example number one stated that you have a sample of 30 teachers and the data which is the mean salary 30,000 pesos and this data describes directly our sample so that is our example number one let's have example number two and i want you to read it this is our example number two you may read it now go very good so for example number two you have there it is clearly stated and it is direct that you have the sample and the mean of that sample characterize the sample itself or the collection itself okay so that is our second example for descriptive let's have inferential to see the difference inferential statistics used to make inferences concerning some aspects of the population basically this inferential statistic is you have a population and from that population you will create a sample and from that sample you will have a data and the data is used or is reflected to the population as inferences or conclusion okay in comparison to descriptive you have a sample sample you will have a data and the data describes the pop, uh, describes the sample but in inferential you have population population you will get first a sample and from the sample you will have a data and that data will will be reflected to the population as inferences or conclusions okay let's have our first example for inferential statistics to further explain it first example the waste management of 1000 Cebu City households are observed to determine management system needed for the city so the scenario for example number one is you have the population which is the entire household of Cebu City that is our population and we get a sample and the sample is 1000 Cebu City household and from that we will have a data about waste management and that data about waste management will be reflected to the population as conclusion and inferences and is used for the management system for the entire household of Cebu City. Okay, so that is our first example and it is clearly under inferential statistics. Since we have population sample, from the sample you will have a data and the data is reflected as inferences or conclusion to the population let's have our second example and I want you to read it okay so this is our second example you may read it now go very good okay as you read our example number two you have the population you have a collection so the scenario for number two is you have a collection of table and you want to test that that collection of tables and you created a sample so every tenth of the table is collected and that forms the sample so you have you have they they counted like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then that tenth table are all collected and you have the sample itself and the sample you get the data out from the sample so you there is a testing if it's pass or fail or what is the rating of that sample and whatever is the outcome will be reflected to the entire population of the table 
if it's pass or fail or what is the rating so that is inferential statistics since you have the population the entire collection of table is sample every tenth table the data or the outcome like if it's pass or fail or what is the rating is reflected as inferences or a conclusion to the population the entire collection of the table okay so that is our second example for inferential statistics let's go back to descriptive let's have one last example for descriptive to see the difference third example the bar graph of areas of students of all currently enrolled education students so this is under descriptive because you have a sum uh, you have a collection of st enrolled students education students and you have a bar graph that describes directly the collection of the education students okay so that is descriptive let's have one example for inferential okay based on the survey the mean daily hour of youtube watched by the education students in the college is 6.9 hours so the scenario for number three example for inferential statistics is you have the entire population of the education students and the phrase here based on a survey is creating a sample out from that entire population so there is already a sample and that sample we have a data that the mean daily hours of youtube watch is 6.9 hours and this data is reflected to the entire population which is the students of education students it is reflected as conclusion or inferences so this is inferential statistics so that is our example the last example for inferential statistics to have a generalization or overview between descriptive and inferential is if you say descriptive statistics you have a sample or collection and from the collection you will have a data and the data describes the collection itself inferential statistics is you have a population then first is you have to have or you have you have to you have to create a sample so again population you have to have a sample and from that sample you will have a data and that data will be reflected as inferences or conclusion to the entire population okay so that is inferential so that is the difference between descriptive inferential descriptive collection data data reflected to the collection inferential population sample sample data data will be reflected as inferences or conclusion to the population so that is inferential statistics and its difference okay so i know you will get a perfect score in our quiz since it is clear to you the differences between descriptive and inferential see you in our next topic thank you for listening and have a good day